everybody, it's Leilani Lopez, the author of the upcoming young adult paranormal romance, Devil's Air. So today's going to be a quick little video. Um, one of my followers reached out to me on Instagram, so thank you so, 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 so much. I really appreciate it, and she wanted to know whether I'm going to do arcs, the pros and cons, and how I'm going to go about it. So long story short, yes, I am planning on doing arcs, um, mostly because since I just started doing, you know, my author tube and trying to publicize myself, if that's the right word, get myself out there, um, get myself known to all of you fellow author tubers slash book lovers. Um, I definitely feel like I need to work harder at making sure that my launch date goes successful. So sorry, let's my dog moving on his bed um so I am planning on doing arcs and I kind of have two ideas about the way that I'm gonna do them one is just kind of your classic scrolling through Instagram and finding people who might be interested in reading a young adult paranormal romance And then reaching out to them and asking if they would like a digital copy because as I'm sure we all know physical copies are so expensive so I don't really plan on doing that um so I'm not really sure how far I'm gonna get mostly by searching the hashtags that I'm already using you know like hashtag YA paranormal romance hashtag YAPNR which stands for paranormal romance stuff like that you get the hint and see if I can come up with anyone who is willing to take it. So that's kind of the first way I'm planning on doing it. And then the second way I am planning on reaching out to a PR, a PR company um, to help me out with this. Because I know, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but fellow author tuber Jessie Elliott, she mentioned that she had a pretty successful launch when she went through a PR company. Um, for her first book and then she decided not to do it for her second book and she realized that that was probably a mistake so she's going to for her third book. Um, so again going back to the whole I don't really have a huge following quite yet. I am planning on doing that and that should be ARCs ebooks ebook ARCs. Um, so you can kind of do some research into the exact PR company that you want to use. I highly recommend doing a lot of research though because from my understanding as long as you are on their mailing list and they basically promise you you know a certain number of websites that you'll be on so say like 10 to 20 and they'll hold up their end of the bargain which basically means you will be on 10 to 20 for that day but that doesn't mean that those 10 to 20 actually have a following so really could kind of get nowhere even though it seems like you should be getting somewhere by the end of it so definitely make sure you do your research um look into your favorite indie authors and see what which ones they use that's what i kind of did um so i already have an idea of which ones i want to look into so i'll talk more about that later but most of the time their packages kind of include whether it's like a release day blitz a cover reveal um or you can do, you know, like the larger package for like a launch week kind of thing. And so again, you'll be on X amount of profiles every single day. And then if you decide you want to include arcs or um, yeah, arc reviews in those, in that package, it's usually not too expensive to add that on if it's not already included. So that's kind of my plan. Um, my book is due to the developmental editor April 1st and then the copy copy editor maybe like a month or two after that after I incorporate all of the suggestions so again my what is this 20th round of edits and then it'll go to the copy editor and I think that they usually, and by they I mean like the PR companies, I think that they usually ask that you have the book ready like two to three months before the release date. So since the release date is in fall, I'm hoping that if it's ready by summer, that should be plenty of time to send that out and cry a little bit because I'm sending my baby out into the world and I have no idea how people are going to receive it. So 
that's kind of my plan. Um, I'm definitely going to order some physical copy arcs. I don't even know if I'm going to send them out, honestly. Uh, mostly probably for me, my friends, my family, the people who helped me out during this process. Um, maybe depending on my Instagram research, if I have a couple people who are willing to take it and they have a pretty large following, I might be willing to send a couple copies. Definitely not a lot because self-publishing is already so expensive as I'm sure you guys already know um and then add on shipping cost this is a silent tier just silent tier um it's gonna be very expensive so hopefully I'll decide that um pretty soon I should probably start doing that research to grow the list of people that I want to reach out to relatively soon i'll probably do that throughout april um since i'll have that month off since it'll be with my developmental editor and then if i decide to do that i will obviously include those numbers into my final how much did self-publishing cost me which will be released in the fall <laughs> when i actually finish with this whole process and have those numbers ready for you that's all I have for you guys today. I will be doing the WIP challenge or tag next. I was going to do that today, but then I realized I wanted to think a little bit more about the specific question. So that'll be coming up next. If you have any more recommendations, please let me know. And yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.